Uh, hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Peterson, and I'm here with another book for you. It's called When Worry Takes Hold, and it's by a good friend of mine whose name is Liz Haskey, and In Song Nam did the illustrations. So let's read a book, right? When Worry Takes Hold. One night, just after the lights went out, worry snuck into Maya's mind. Worry grew bigger and bigger until there was no space left for anything safe. Just darkness and fear. Is it a school day? Maya mumbled. You're going to walk me to class, right? Maya felt nervous because worry clouded everything that was happy and safe. Wherever Maya went, worry came along to the playground. Will you stay with me? What if I fall and get hurt? At a friend's birthday. What if I don't know anyone? When will you pick me up? In the car. What if we get lost? Are you sure you know where you're going? It seemed as if worry was there to stay. The more Maya feared, the more mighty worry became. Soon bedtime turned into dread time. Maya clutched onto her parents' arms and begged them to stay. Being left alone with her thoughts meant being left alone with worry. Before long, Maya wasn't the only one filled with worry. Her parents' smiles faded as they began worrying about her worry. Why is she so worried, they wondered. What can we do, they whispered. Then one day, Maya met worry's enemy, courage. Courage came in the form of a calming breath. Maya realized if she put her hands on her belly and focused on her breath, she could be brave. So instead of clinging to her fears, she called on courage, taking deep Calming breaths helped her mind settle. Maya noticed that for the first time in a long time, she wasn't thinking, what if? Breathing gave Maya power. And so rather than trying to push worry away, she greeted it. Hello, worry. She whispered when the darkness tried to fill her mind. Thanks to courage, Maya began to break free from worry's hold. At the playground, I am safe. I am okay. At her friend's birthday party, my friends are here. See you later in the car. I know you will get us there safely. At bedtime, Maya didn't feel dread when the lights went out. Courage wrapped its arms around her as she said, I think I would like to walk to class by myself tomorrow. 
her parents started to notice a change. Is she worrying less, they wondered? What a relief, they whispered. The more courage Maya had, the less powerful worry felt. <sighs> I am brave. I can do this, she said, as she began to walk on her own. With each brave step, each deep breath, <sighs> Maya finally broke free. And so it was that everywhere Maya went, courage came along. Soon Maya and everyone around her were full of laughter and smiles. Although worry lost its hold, it didn't disappear completely. Every now and then worry returned. But Maya didn't mind because she knew that sometimes worry was there to keep her safe. And besides, courage was just a deep breath away. Now I'd like to show you what this back page of the book says. It says, find your courage, how to breathe like Maya. And there are four steps. Will you practice with me? Okay. So this first one says, put your hands on your belly and hold your back straight. Take a breath in through your nose. Imagine you are trying to fill your entire body with air all the way to your toes. Slowly let the air out through your nose. Notice the way your breath feels as it leaves your body. It feels good. With each breath, imagine courage coming in and worry going out. Let's try it one time. Okay, just one more time. Thank you. Now, I chose this book because often when we're feeling scared or worried or nervous or anxious, we don't know what to do about it. Sometimes we feel like we want to run or we feel like we want to cry or we want to get angry and mad and we want to fight. Those are big feelings. And what we need to do is give our brain time to catch up with our hearts and our tummies. And so that means we need to take breaths. We need to slow down. We need to let courage in to make a good decision and breathe out fear, worry, anxiety. So if you are ever feeling overwhelmed and anxious and worried, the easiest thing for you to do is take a deep, calming breath and find your courage. It's the only thing we can do sometimes when worry takes hold. So with that, I hope you have a great week of calm, serenity, and good feelings, and I'll see you soon.